hello guys welcome back again to this channel today we are going to have an analysis of a poem called makola makola is a poem written by a ghanaian poetess called teresa enin makola as the title of this poem is a big and famous marketplace in accra the capital of ghana where people buy and sell fruits vegetables meat and other typical market items and products the poem talks about the struggles and challenges that people in the market go through in their everyday lives to make a living let's first read the poem as written in the kokoro after reading the poem we will take each stanza and have a detailed analysis stanza 1 Head bent, rags all around the upside down pan, picking her nose, shuffling her feet, oblivious to the bustle and the calls of the driver's mate. This morning she quarrelled with the husband. Why wouldn't he understand that her work is very tedious and involving? Why must it all be on his terms, at his convenience? Move out of the way, move out, I say, shouts the cat pusher. None cares about his agitation. The sweat runs down his face. Tiny rivulets of disappointment and fear. They sneak down and glide effortlessly into his dirty t-shirt His tongue picks out and licks the beads of sweat on his lip A young girl with a thin arms balances a bowl of sachet water on her head The running nose baby at her back is supported with a faded ATL cloth He holds in his hands a battered Teddy with an eye missing The baby whimpers she tries to soothe him by patting his leg he refuses to be soothed and gives out a loud yell Put him to the breast one woman counsels I can't she says I have no breast milk End of poem Now let's look at the different stanzas and its analysis. Stanza 1 analysis. The first stanza makes mention of a female character in the market. She is obviously carries items in her pan for a living. In the Ghanaian society, these women are often referred to as the kayaye. A kayaye is a street porter who helps in carrying other people's luggage for money. The woman is in a very busy environment, but she seems to ignore all the noise and distractions around her. She has an I don't care attitude because in spite of the calls of the driver's mates, she is speaking her nose. and shuffling her feet stanza 2 the second stanza tells the reason for the behavior of the woman in the first stanza the woman is going through a marital problem which has caused a quarrel between herself and her husband her husband does not appreciate the fact that her work is very tedious and involving The stanza also shows the bossy nature of her husband as he seems not to take his wife's well-being into consideration and wants every decision to be on his terms. This is very typical of most African homes where the husband's words and opinions are final with less or no consideration on the part of the woman. The last sentence introduces us to the cat's pusher as he shouts, 
Move out of the way, move out. Stanza three. The cat pusher uses a lot of strength to move his cat along. He finds himself in an overcrowded environment and thus has to shout at people to move out of the way as they become an obstacle to his movement. Nobody seems to care about the struggles and difficulties he's going through. He sweats a lot just to make a living, but he's still not satisfied with his work since he has feelings of fear and disappointment towards his work. Why does he fear? Perhaps he is aware of the dangers of his line of work. He could easily hit someone and get himself into trouble. His work is unpredictable and full of uncertainty. Why is he disappointed? His dream work is definitely not cat pushing, but he has to do it anyway to survive. He moves around very heavy objects and equipment, but earns very little at the end of the day. Stanza 4. This stanza shows again the tiresome nature of the cat pushing work. He sweats a lot in his dirty t-shirts and doesn't even have a handkerchief to clean the sweat off his face. He therefore takes out his tongue to lick the bees of sweat on his lips. We are then introduced to a young girl who balances a bowl of sachet water on her head. The girl is described to have thin arms, which means she is not gaining much weight due to obviously economic hardship. Stanza 5. There's a running nose baby at the back of the young girl supported with a faded cloth. This shows a picture of frustration teenage mothers go through to survive in the harsh conditions in the market. The faded ATL cloth shows the evidence of poverty and lack. Even the plain object which the child is holding is not in a good condition as it has an eye missing. Girls in this condition are forced to find for themselves and their children so that they don't become beggars. Stanza 6. To add more troubles to the girl's condition, the baby at her back whimpers. She tries to calm him down, but it doesn't work as he gives out a loud cry. The loud cry gets the attention of a woman who advises the young girl to give him some breast milk. The young girl replies that she has no breast milk. This shows the malnourished nature of the teenager due to her inability to provide breast milk for her child. Now let's look at some themes that can be found in this poem. One, the struggles and frustrations that people go through in their everyday lives to make a living. Two, the difficulties people go through behind the scenes at their workplace and how it affects their personal lives. Three, the willingness of people to go the extra mile when their survival is at stake. Now let's look at the form. The poem has no definite structure or form as it has uneven lines and stanzas. The poem makes mention of different persons in the market and tells short stories about them. The tone and mood. The tone is that of fear, frustration, uncaring attitude or character, disappointment and worry. Now let's look at some literary devices. One, repetition. It can be found in the line, move out, 
move out. Two, alliteration. It can be found in the line, he held in his hands. Three, onomatopoeia. It can be found in the line, shuffling her feet. Four, personification. In the line, sweat runs down his face. Five, metaphor. In the line, tiny rivulets of fear and disappointment. Now let's look at some questions and answers to this poem. Question number one. How many characters were talked about in the poem? Answer. Six characters. Question two. Why can't the young girl breastfeed her baby? Answer. Because she has no breast milk. Question three. What is the faded ATO cloth used for? Answer. It is used to support the baby at the back of the young girl. Question four. How was the little girl trying to suit her baby? Answer. By patting his leg. Question five. When did the woman quarrel with her husband? Answer. That morning. Question six. Who said, put him to the breast and why? Answer. A concerned woman because the baby was yelling loudly. Question seven. How does the cat pusher find his way in an overcrowded environment? Answer. By yelling at people to move out of the way. Question eight. What literary device is in Bees of Sweat? Answer. Metaphor. Question nine. Who wants everything to be on his terms and at his convenience? Answer. The street porter's husband. Question 10. What is the baby on the girl's back holding? Answer. A battered teddy bear with an eye missing. We have come to the end of our lesson. If this video was of any value to you, like, subscribe, and comment. I will see you later in our next episode. Goodbye.